Hello, everybody out there. Welcome to another edition of Casa e Cucina. Today, on today's show, it's a special edition. We're going to meet three outstanding individuals in the Italian community. We call them great legends of the St. Louis Italian community. Mr. Roland Di Gregorio, Mr. Chick Severino, and Mr. Gianni or Giovanni Amoroso. Three beautiful people. So, io sono Quito Valentino e questa è Casa e Cucina. Sit back and enjoy a great Italian American show. Ladies and gentlemen, my first legend of the St. Louis Italian community here is Mr. Roland Di Gregorio, very active in the community. Roland, how you doing today? Fine. You caught me with a cane. I've been sick for a while. I had some blood poisoning, but I'm okay now. Well, I got a joke for you, but I'll tell you later about, okay. the, about the cane here. But anyway, uh, yeah, you're up and around. Uh, really? R Roland is known for giving the tours around the, uh, the uh, St. Louis Italian section of town known as the hill. Tour, tour the hill. I've had uh, three cancellations because I was ill, but Jenny Garignani took in and took over, and I'm glad. We're still giving tours. She, I give the talk, and she does the walking from now on. How many tours of the hill have you given, uh, would you say? Well, over, I tell you, over the years, over the years at least uh, uh, in the month of March, April, and May, and half of June is already mm -hmm. booked up for next year. So give you an idea how much tours I have. I don't do tours Saturday, Sunday. So I do tours five days, six, uh, four days a week for, uh, for I say an average of uh, 4, 8, 12, 16. I do 400 tours so far in, in, in two years. Now the tours you start out in the church. Well, I'll tell you what, yeah. Roland. Before we get into the talking about the tours and everything, let's talk a little bit about your history. Well, Growing up. Okay. Now, uh, your, your mother and father? My mother and father, uh, his, I was born June 25th, right around the corner here on Hereford. That's 73 years ago. And in the course of 73 years, I've moved four blocks west. That's more than my wife. She only she moved. To, she lived in 40, 52, and she only moved three blocks west. It give you an idea of us people here of our age. We were born and raised here. We love St. Ambrose. We went to church, got married here, had our children here, and the only way they're going to get us away from the hill is by burying us. So you were born and raised born on the hill. Born and raised like like everybody else waving at me as they're going by. Well, which, which one is her? This is my parents. And uh, this is my wife, this little girl right here. In the middle. In the middle. In 1929, they built a home on Shaw Avenue at 5300 block on the south side. And it still stands there today, one of the biggest and beautiful houses of the time. Now, growing up now, you, had a, you went to Shaw School. Well, growing up, we all went to Shaw School. Couldn't afford 50 cents a week at St. Ambrose. And Shaw School, during our heyday, I went out with these boys here in my class. Yeah, who are these boys here? Now, the one, let's start with the ones kneeling. The one kneeling with a, with well, a sailor hat and all that hair is Joe Garagiola. Joe Garagiola. With a sailor look at, cap look at and all that hair, that's Joe. Yeah, look at that expression. Look at his mouth. And Jen John Colombo on, the right, on the right. And Charlie Riva up there on top of River the, was a great standing guy. Standing on the right. And, and Aldo Rossi in the middle, he owned a re restaurant out in Kirkwood. And that's me up there with my white pants on and our sailor pants. Yeah, what was with the white pants? Well, that rolling? was the thing to do in those days, the Shaw School picnics. You all wear white pants and sailor hats and get on the open air buses and ride from Shaw School to Forest Park Highlands. That was the biggest thing on the hill in those days. We had a parade and everything. Now you got a little older and you joined the service. Well, I I joined the Marine Corps. With your brother? My brother came about a year later, and my brother and I, he was in the second division, I was in the fourth division, and we got pictures. That's your brother Sam on the left. The guy with the mustache, the good, good looking, looking one. The good looking one. He was so good looking, I swear. And this is us 50 years later. But now, tell, tell us a little story about the, my about brother the Saipan. Sam, my brother and I in, on Saipan, uh, with the will of God, his outfit was on line, and we went to relieve his outfit, and my company commander said we we're going to relieve the 2nd Regiment, 2nd Battalion. I said, that's my brother's office. So he gave me an hour permission to go ahead, and I crept and crawled, ask here and there, and fall in the foxhole with my brother, Sam. And he's got a 38, hey, I said, hey, it's me, it's me. And accordion wire out there with Japs hanging on it, and, and we spent one, 45 minutes together in the foxhole, and when my company came up, he left me there. So that's how, it's in the books, of my history of the 4th Division has it in the books, that's why we did that. Now when you got, you got
got a little, uh, when you get out of the service? When I got out of the service, I come home. I got home the day before VJ Day, and I'm so happy. And in fact, uh, we, uh, we, my son took me up to VJ Day at the Ruggieri restaurant, and at 7 o'clock, Monday night, 7 o'clock, 50 years to the hour, he took my picture in front of Ruggieri's, because that time Ruggieri opened up the doors, and we had an open house of music and dancing, and we had a ball in front of Ruggieri's. So about the two days or three days later when I recuperate, I'm out cutting the grass, and this beautiful young girl is out there visiting her uncle next door. She just happened to be visiting her uncle, and I knew who she was right away. I hadn't seen her in four years, and uh, she blossomed out to a nice 118 pounds. <laughs> well, you were a good-looking guy, too. Oh, what I kind of suit is that? That is a zoot suit. We dance at Toontown, and, and, and then and this is our engagement. I met her in September. It was engaged in December and married her in April. Pretty quick, you know. Oh, that was pretty quick, and yeah. now you have a big well, then I, family there. There I have seven kids, four boys on top and three girls on the bottom there. And I was a mailman here, and I uh, used to go home for lunch. <laughs> That's how I had seven kids. <laughs> Joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I had seven beautiful kids, and they're all wonderful. And uh, like I said, two weeks ago when I was really ill, they were there. They are, uh, if you would say, what do I accomplish most in this world? Kids, God love them. Well, I always say there's three things that are important to the Italian American, and that's God, their family, and their country. And right here is, is a, one of our legends of the St. Louis community. We have somebody that's very involved in this church. I love the church, love the church family man and very much involved with his community and after all these years he's given back to the community what the community gives to him and that is by giving the tours now when the when the folks come down here for of the hill this italian section of st louis you start off in the church and then we you walk come, around the hill we come into church at 10 o'clock in the morning and i give a, a lecture for about 45 minutes of the history of the hill then we get out about 11 o'clock and we walk we walk into two bakeries, Vitale, Missouri Bakery. We walk into Volpe's Grocery Store, De Gregorio, Viviano's. And then I also take them to the Bochy Alley's. We play a game of Bochy's at Milo's. And then about 12.30, they're hungry. The Hill has 11 restaurants in three blocks, square. So they can choose any place they go. This is, to me, it's God bless me because a couple of weeks ago, you know how well, close I came with this blood point. Yes. Okay? Well, wait a minute, Roland. Don't, don't leave yet. We're going to treat the folks out there to a little uh, Italian song with some footage, old footage of the hill. <laughs> wait a minute. Chick Severino, well, come over come, here. He's coming up. He's no, coming no. up. He's Chick coming Severino up. and I were on the radio together singing. Uh, right? He was a waiter with me. We, were, we, worked, we worked together as waiters at Parenti's. Is that right? Yeah, and he was on Jack. Chick, come on over Chick, here. It was Chicks. on Jack Carney's show the other day, and we did a John a, Carney John John Carney's show. Yeah, turn around this camp. way here. Oh, okay. We were on John Carney's show, and we were singing. Volare, oh, cantare, oh. The job. two singing waiters, and yeah. Carney went crazy. Yeah. You really Try to sign us up. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's have a little. <laughs> A little volare, oh, a little did. tribute to the hill. How about that? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. All right. <laughs> okay. Volare, oh, cantare, oh, 